Right now, final preparations are being made for visitation services for the late Congressman C.W. Bill Young. Thousands are expected to pay their last respects to the congressman who served four decades in the United States House of Representatives. Laura Harris is live at the congressman's namesake, the Bill Young Armed Forces Reserve Center in Pinellas Park with the latest. Good afternoon, Laura. And Dia, since we got out here early this morning, officials have been working to get everything perfect for this somber occasion. Those flags you see behind me at half staff literally just put out brand new uh, for what's going to happen here later today. And we spoke with people this morning who tell us the late congressman will definitely be missed and never forgotten. It's the usual crowd on this Wednesday at American Veterans Post 7467 in Pinellas Park. Vietnam vet Andy Adams, just one of the regulars, reminiscing about the late Congressman Bill Young on the eve of his funeral. And I know just from the publicity and, and all that around town that he's done a lot you know, for the veterans, as well as his wife, Beverly. Adams even telling us about the first-hand experience he had with Congressman Young years ago. He says he called the congressman's office to get some guidance on a pressing bank issue. He's been threatening foreclosure on us, you know, for, for no good reason. And anyway, he called like the president of the bank and they called me the next day. And like Adams, many would say the longest serving Republican member of the U.S. House was one of the biggest advocates of veterans in Washington. A veteran himself, not just on Capitol Hill, but also serving nine years in the That's Army right. National Guard and another six as a reservist. Known for being very outspoken about the nation's defense strategies, even calling for the withdrawal of U.S. troops from Afghanistan back in 2012. And even though the seat for the 13th Congressional District of Florida will eventually be filled again, for people like Andy Adams, it will never be the same. I don't think there's anybody in Congress that can, can fill his footsteps. And there's a private visitation scheduled for 4 to 5 o'clock for just close family and friends here at the Army Reserve Center. Uh, then after that, from 5 to 8, the public is invited. For more information on this visitation here in Pinellas Park, as well as the funeral tomorrow, you can go to our website at abcactionnews.com. And now we are live in Pinellas Park. Laura Harris, ABC Action News.